Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. We're here at beautiful Club Arius in sunny Aruba with Aruba Bob, also known as Kent Gerber. You might have gone snorkeling with Kent or his number one guy, Stuart. They take some fantastic snorkel trips, but recreationally, just for fun, these guys love to go scuba diving. So Kent's going to tell us about some of his scuba diving adventures, and we also have some great underwater footage, both day and night. So Kent, tell me, you're here in Aruba, you love to go snorkeling, but you also go scuba diving. Now, how often do you go scuba diving when you're here in Aruba? Uh, we try to go every day, even in the night times, but uh, we have to go around our snorkel tour, so it just depends. I see, so you got to fit the work in with the play. That's, That's okay. right. Now, what's some of your favorite spots to go snorkel? Uh, Mango Holdo would probably be my favorite, but we also do Baby Beach, Rocky Beach, the Antilles Shipwreck. Right. Now, what's the difference between diving and snorkeling as far as seeing marine life or it's a whole different experience? What's, what's it like to go scuba diving at these spots? Well, when you're snorkeling, it looks great, but when you can get right down to it, the colors are just awesome. You get close to the fish and the sea life, and uh, diving is just awesome compared to snorkeling. I see. So you're actually sort of flying through the water, and you can go right down there and see that marine life and everything. That's right. Cool. So now, Kent, you've made some videos. I'd like to show the people some of the fish and turtles and things like that. Are there anything specific we should be looking for when we go scuba diving in this area? Well, you see a lot of eels and uh, even turtles, and cool. fish are always in abundance. And once in a while, you see an octopus. Okay. You see some squid, uh, like in the uh, even in the day and night, you see spotted eagle rays, wow. and it's really nice. Excellent. All right, well, let's go to some of that underwater footage during the day here with Kent Gerber, Stewart, and sometimes his good friend Cat. They all go scuba diving together. We're gonna take a look at that right now. Okay, we're back. That was great footage Kent showed us, especially of the eel and the turtles down there. Now, Kent, tell me, you also go scuba diving at night. Now, is the marine life different at night? It is. The lobsters and the uh, shrimp are out a lot more than the crabs. Those three things you don't see much during the day, but at night, they're out in full force. Now, when you're out there at night, I mean, are there any special safety precautions or anything that you have to look out for at night? Well, we actually stick together for number one. We have uh, big, bright LED underwater lights. Okay. So number one, we just always stick together and... Uh, you follow the rules of having a buddy when you dive and all Yep, that. that's right. So we're going to go to see some night footage now that Kent and Stuart took. And this is mostly from Mangle Alto. Is that right, Kent? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to go some night diving at Mangle Alto with Kent Gerber. Here we go.
That was fantastic footage there from Kent Gerber scuba diving at night, wasn't it? All right, so we got a few more seconds here with Kent. Kent, I'd like to know, do you go scuba diving from shore, or do you go off a boat, or both, or what's your preference? Uh, we actually go from shore when we're on our own. Uh, we do some boat dives. We go with Jads and uh, Happy Divers with Jeffrey. Okay. We do dive with them guys once in a while. So you kind of get the best of both worlds when you're here in Aruba. Right. When we go on the boat, so we go to more wrecks and stuff that we can't really access from shore. I got so you. So that's why we go on the boats. Now, are there, there's the Antilla course. Are there some other wrecks that people should know about here in Aruba? Right. Uh, just like this morning, we did the J, Jane C. That's a big 200-foot barge that they actually sunk. Uh, three days ago, we actually did a couple airplane wrecks out by the Renaissance. That was really cool. Wow. They actually let you go right inside the airplanes. And uh, the Antilles is usually a boat dive, but with our water scooters, we go early in the morning and we shoot out with our scooters. We go down and dive it and come back. It takes about 25 minutes each way to get from shore to the boat, but we'll actually do that one on our own. Nice. All right, so listen, Kent, we're going to talk to Stuart now. He's going to tell us about the lionfish, all right? Okay. All right, we're going to jump in here. We're going to put Stuart on site because we're going to talk about the dangers of the lionfish when you go scuba diving. Stay tuned here at Doing Time with Dan. All right, we're back here at Doing Time with Dan. We have Stuart who does a lot of scuba diving and snorkeling here on the island. He's going to tell us a little bit about the lionfish, and we got some footage of the lionfish, actually the lionfish's demise. So Stuart, tell me, What's the problem with the lionfish? Uh, the lionfish are an invasive species, so they're not native to Aruba. Uh, they moved in and they're killing a lot of the local species, which also uh, harms our coral. Um, and they're pretty poisonous to us too, so if people get too close to them, if you try and touch one, it's going to stick you with one of its needles um, and it'll, it'll be a lot of pain. Right. So if you do get stung, it's important that you go to the hospital or a doctor so you can Absolutely, yeah. You need to go, go to the emergency services and just get some, some good painkillers and they'll, they'll advise you what you need to do, which is best for wherever you got stuck. All right, we're going to go to some footage here right now that shows Stuart in action taking out the lionfish. Let's check that out. As you can see, Stuart makes short work of the lionfish. But if you're out there yourself and you're not a professional and you don't know what you're doing like these guys, you might want to steer clear of the lionfish. Stuart, tell us what's wrong with if you get too close to the lionfish. Uh, the lionfish have feathers that, that protrude from the body um, and if they're going to attack, they'll just stick you with one of their feathers, which are like a needle. Um, and they have a poison in there, which is pretty painful. Um, so you need to take appropriate measures, go, go to the hospital, right. uh, take some painkillers, you've got to put the uh, appendage in hot water. Uh, and that really helps with reducing the pain. Okay, so you hear that folks, if you're getting near the lionfish, just steer clear. And if you do get stung by one, check with your local medical professionals because that could be a painful wound there. It won't kill you, but it will be very painful. So get to see a doctor or a hospital as quick as you can. Stuart, I want to thank you for spending time here at Doing Time with Dan. We're going to talk to Kat next. She goes snorkeling with you guys and also scuba diving. She does. We're going to get a perspective, a lady's perspective, on scuba diving here in beautiful Aruba. Stay tuned at Doing Time with Dan. Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. We're still on set here at beautiful Club Arias in sunny Aruba. Now I'm here with Kat. Kat likes to snorkel and scuba dive with Kent and Stuart, who we just met a few minutes ago. But Kat's going to tell us how she came to the island and what she prefers about these two great water activities here in beautiful Aruba. Now Kat, tell me, when did you first come to Aruba? I first came to the island last February. Wow, so you're a newbie. You've only been here a couple of years. Yes. Now did you take to uh, snorkeling right away? Uh, sort of. Uh, I snorkeled for the first time in the Bahamas a few years ago, okay. um, just briefly. And then when I came last February, I met Kent for the first time, and he took me out and showed me a little bit of wow. his snorkeling, and I was hooked immediately. Right. Well, Kent's that kind of guy. He's right. a lot of fun to be with. Right. Big, gregarious guy. You feel safe with Absolutely. Kent. Absolutely. Stuart knows what he's doing. He's Absolutely. a professional. Now, do you like those water scooters that they have that pull you through the water? I do. I love them. It, it's, it's different at first uh, if you're not used to it but they're very convenient when it comes to the current. Uh, when you're not familiar with the area, right. they definitely come in. So that takes sort of some of the strain out of it. It's, it's more fun and less like Correct. exercise. yes. Now, do you like to go at night as well? Like these guys, they go at night and day to all the time? I do, I love really? to go at night. It's just a different world. It's a different experience. You see different things, different fish. Uh, the sea urchins come out at night, the lobster, the shrimp. It's just, 
a different world at night. So you're not scared at all by the night? I'm then. not. I'm not. Some people are, but I, I guess I'm it. just a little bit just more brave. Take right to the wall. Yeah. Now, now, what about the scuba diving? Do you do that as well? I do. So did you get certified here in Aruba or did you get certified at home? I did. I got certified this past February with Ken and Stuart. Okay. Yep. So you guys kind of all work together. You have a lot of fun. Yeah. Like one little crew together. Right. They're my dive buddies. So oh, wow. It makes nice. it easy to come back. You know, that's one of the great things about Aruba. You meet new people, you take on to these activities, and the next thing you know, you're having fun. You can't wait to get back to the island. I mean, that's how it started for me, and you just heard from Kat, Stuart, and Kent. And that's why we all love Aruba that much. Hey, thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Stay tuned for more information about Aruba and from around the world.